Hello Gemini and welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. This is a weekly reading for Gemini from the 1st to the 7th of October 2018. Please don't forget to watch a moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. And um, if you would like a personal reading, I've put my the details of my email address in uh, the description box as well as my, my website in the description box. So please contact me. Uh, I put the decks I'm using in the description box as well as links to Amazon and eBay if you want to purchase these decks. And don't forget to watch the deck walkthrough series that I've started. You might find it interesting. So uh, like, share, subscribe and leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. So I'm doing a general energy read for you first and then I will do a general tarot read for you afterwards. Okay, so uh, you've been in a situation where, uh, you know, there has been need, a need for forgiveness. Maybe you've ended some sort of relationship with somebody with this ending card. You know, you've been going through a period of real um, confusion, isolation, you know, uh, not knowing what really uh, to do. And, you know, you've been, maybe you've been praying for forgiveness or you asked this person or you want to ask this person that you've broken up with. Uh, for forgiveness in or for order for you to find that peace of mind uh, maybe it's been very upsetting whatever situation that you have been in there was an ending and there is a need to ask for forgiveness so in the past you've got stop look and listen um, and you've got solitude so you've been spending a lot of time doing a lot of introspection as well with the solitude card uh, you know, and uh, trying to uh, get to terms with what's been happening. And, you know, things have been a bit of a standstill right now with the stop look and listen. You can see this person is not moving forward at all. Uh, it seems like there's a gap. There's no means of going forward. So, uh, you know, this is why you have been trying to spend some time uh, by yourself um, and trying to find the solution to the problem uh, so that you can move forward. And you're looking for some kind of inspiration, and that's going to come by opening the channels of communication. So you need to communicate with this person I think you might need to ask them for forgiveness with this forgiveness card in order for you to move forward and you might need to contact contact them in some sort of way maybe call them up send them a message some sort of way you need to actually communicate with them and this is going to be the key uh, that's going to um, allow you to move forward because right now everything seems to be at a bit of a standstill and you're spending a lot of time maybe you're feeling a bit depressed about what happened especially as far as the ending goes you're in the dark about what happened, but you need to actually open up those channels of communication in order for you to move forward and get that energy moving again. You seem to be pretty stuck. Okay, so let me just do the general read. I have shuffled this deck. I'm just going to draw some cards. Okay, so there was a lot of arguments and disputes. Something happened uh, where there was a lot of fighting. Uh, you know, um, maybe things were said. Uh, looks like a lot of people have been involved in this situation and people are just saying what they want. Nobody's really considering anybody else's feelings. And nobody seems to have any insight as what's going on. I mean, you might be seeing the situation from one perspective. But it doesn't seem like everybody else has got a clue as to why they're fighting. But it seems like this argument has escalated into something really big. And it looks like it's going to get worse because it's, you've got the hive over there. And, you know, once somebody hits that, that sends out the bees and everybody's going to get stung. So something is going on over here that is causing a lot of disruption, a lot of fighting, a lot of um, instability, if you like. Um, and, you know, maybe you are standing back and watching, uh, but you are aware that things are going, to, are going awfully wrong. So you're caught up in a situation where there's a lot of um, discord that is going on in the middle of something. Maybe you're acting as a mediator, but things have gotten a bit out of control over there. So you've got the world card, uh, which is the ending of something. So maybe the ending of a job situation uh, with the world card and the judgment. Uh, you know, you're needing to let go of the past and move on to something else. The judgment means that things are hotting up over here. You can see this is a cauldron with all this fire at the bottom here. So things are hotting up over here. And, you know, it's making you quite upset. This person looks really miserable over here. 
uh, it looks like there's two trees, so the choice has to be made, and this is being uh, divinely guided because it's the hand of God coming up. There's a lot of clouds in the sky, so every, the situation is not clear at the moment. A n something new wants to come in with this new moon there, but it's half, um, it's not being allowed to do that. So something is going on, uh, and uh, you know the situation is not uh, being allowed to, to resolve itself. And it wants to end with the world card. That situation wants to come to an end, but something's happening that's not allowing the situation to end. So you need to make a choice. You need to make a decision. This is a turning point, and it is up to you to make this decision in order for you to bring this clarity back in again and for things to change. And you are not in a very happy situation right now. With the world, it's telling you you need to make a decision of ending. So it's up to you right now, and um, you are being guided to make that decision. You're being pushed to make that decision uh, in order for you to move forward in life. So you need to let go of an old situation in order for you to move forward in life. And it is something that you might uh, find that, you know, you're getting a second chance to do something you've never done before because the judgment card always calls, talks about re resurrecting the past. So resurrecting, doing a life kind of review thing yourself and going back and doing something, finishing something that you should have finished before and you haven't done that. So you've got the four of wands over here. You have been in the last year trying to build something, you've been, you know, maybe uh, networking, communicating, forming really good close friendships with people and building your stability with these ones. So uh, meeting a lot of people, building stability, um, making good friends. And, uh, you know, you've been quite happy as well. It's been quite stable. So um, in the last few months, you seem to have had a new job or promotion, something that where your financial status has improved. Uh, and it's allowed you to save some extra money, uh, put aside some money um, because you've been earning a bet much better than before. You've got a lot of abundance with these cards and you've got the squirrel over there. So that's why I say you've managed to save some money. And this is something new, new money coming in. Um, on your mind, you've been feeling very, very negative. Maybe there's been a lot of arguments, I said, around you because there's a lot of snakes here. So that, you know, maybe people have been saying things that have not been nice and it's been very hurtful to you. You've also fe been feeling very chained up, very restricted. Maybe somebody's trying to control your every move, and they haven't been very nice about the whole thing. Um, and, uh, you know, that's made you feel very negative, maybe feeling a bit depressed as well. Maybe you feel you have no freedom. So uh, going into the future, you've got the Nine of Swords, and it looks like a very tense situation, and you're very upset about the whole thing. You can see this person is crying over things that you know, these swords laid down. So there's been a lot of fighting and arguing, and you have been um, involved in it, and it's been something that has made you very miserable. Um, you know what is going on because all these candles are lit, uh, but these words have been very hurtful, and that has caused a lot of problems um, and, um, you know, usually with the Nine of Swords, it talks about being stressed out and, uh, you know, not getting sleep at night, uh, staying up, worrying, and having a lot of anxiety about what happened. There were lots of obstacles there, but that seems to be behind you. And there seems to be, there seems to have been one person there that was giving you maybe some grief because it's a wolf at the end of the day. Even though it's tame, maybe they 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 were against you and now they they are now backing you up. Um, and helping you get through the situation, uh, there being your companion, uh, maybe after something. So you may have had an enemy who has become a friend, and they're helping, helping you get through this because you are so distraught, so depressed and upset about the things that were said, about the people that were um, against you, the people that, um, that were not loyal to you, that betrayed you. So... Um, around you, what's going on with you is you are the three of swords sh shows that you are in a reasonably stable kind of job um you are earning reasonably well and you are in a position where you are teaching training mentoring people you're learning on the job as well but people are recognizing your talents and this you know you might be communicating with a lot of people networking um you know training up a lot of people but the job itself pays well and you are uh, you are managing to put aside um, you know, savings, you are managing to save, and it is, you know, you are um, abundant in it. So you are managing to save, and you're also managing to train people with uh, in this job, and people are listening to you. They do hold you in high regard. 
Um, but you, um, it seems, want to leave the situation for some reason or the other. Maybe it's not serving you anymore and you're not happy. Maybe you feel you can't trust the people that you're working with and you do want to move away from that situation. You want to take all your ideas and thoughts and something has happened um, in that situation that has left you re feeling really miserable, uh, some sort of betrayal, and now you're planning on just leaving everything behind and going away. So your hopes and fears, you're very defensive. Like I said, something may have happened that was not really good and that's left you feeling really upset. It might have been some sort of fight that you've been involved in and you feel very betrayed and now you're there defending yourself against what happened and you're not very happy. You can see that there was some sort of fight but maybe somebody let you down as well. So now you are, uh, you are very defensive about the whole situation. You're on your guard. So going into the future, you've got the Ten of Cups uh, the Tower and the Knight of Pentacles. So these two cards are showing that, you know, you want to end associations with people that are not serving you. Maybe friendships that you thought were very loyal are not. And you want to end that cycle with the Ten of Cups. Uh, you know, there might have been some sort of big storm. There's some sort of big um, change coming in. Uh, a revelation, something that is going to destroy whatever you believe uh, to be stable. And you can see this This is the Tower card coming in over here. So something that's going to, maybe if you have these friends, something's going to come in that breaks up that kind of friendship. Uh, you can see uh, these people are at the bottom of the Tower and you know everybody is, this person is rushing to them. Uh, so a big upheaval coming along um, and, you know, uh, people against you as well. So watch out for that. Uh, you know, where they might be, uh, your friends, they might end up turning against you. Uh, you know, after this kind of revelation that's come through. Um, it seems this is a bell tower, so it seems like there's some big message coming in that shakes everything up and you know, destroys the very foundations of whatever was built. And even then, too, uh, after the aftermath of it, seems like, you know, everybody is uh, against you. you. You see this person is being targeted. Uh, so wherever you land, after that fight, it seems like, you know, people are going to be blaming you for whatever happens. So be aware that could happen. Uh, whatever um, friendships you have may not be as stable as you think they are. And something big is coming in, some sort of big upheaval coming in. So, so sorry to be a bearer of bad news, but I have to say what I see. And I see the tower and, you know, you, it's it's following the Ten of Cups. So the ending of uh, friendships or some sort of emotional bonding and it's a big revelation something that destroys that kind of uh, relationship um, but um, you will have to focus on your work to get over the situation so something coming uh, in on the emotional front but you, uh, you know as far as your work goes you know this job that you're doing you're just gonna have to focus on it and uh, you know you it looks like a lot of abundance coming in as far as the work front goes because it's the Knight of Pentacles. you just got to put your head down and concentrate on your work. Focus on that and forget about, you know, and try and move away from whatever this tower situation is. The only way to overcome all this upheaval, I suppose, is to, uh, you know, cut it off before it even gets there. So if you're getting involved in kind of problems, uh, try not to get involved in other people's problems or other people's business. Keep to yourself and, um, you know, maybe you'll be able to avoid this tower. Uh, but if it comes in, it is there to get rid of things that are no longer serving you. And you will need to focus on your work situation in order for you to accumulate, uh, you know, the money and get to where you want to. Either way, you're, you're in a very stable job itself and you're working pretty hard and a lot of um, abundance will come in, but you will just have to focus and concentrate on that. So something seems to have already started happening uh, and you seem to be ending things as well, making a different uh, a change, you know, moving away with the world, ending something, uh, making a decision to move on. So maybe whatever's happening, you want to change, um, you know, where you are at and move to something else. Uh, maybe go into a position that is uh, different from the one that you work in because maybe there's a lot of uh, drama that is going on around you um, and, you know, maybe you want to move into something different, move into a different job, maybe do the same job in a different place um, to avoid all this drama that has been going on around you. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Animal Tarot and let's see what they've got to say. <coughs> Excuse me. 
excuse me. So you've got the moon card, which says it's important to trust your intuition. Even if you're unsure what what is happening, uh, all will be revealed on it soon, so don't worry. So there's a lot of things that are being hidden from you, especially with this moon card. Uh, people are pretending to be not what they are. So the moon is always bringing in deception. Uh, and so be aware of that. So be, uh, you know, try not to get involved in, in things that you're not fully aware of all the facts. Be aware of all the facts before you get yourself, um, before you go and, go and de try and defend somebody. Be um, on the know about what's going on. So the six of autumn is the second one. Your success and prosperity have allowed you to pay off debts and acquire wise loans, receipts, grants, or scholarships. In, t in return for heaven's blessings, be sure uh, to share the wealth with others through donations of time or money to reputable charities. So you've got the six of autumn, which is like the six of pentacles. So needing to um, be more charitable, give back. So maybe, um, you know, be the mentor, give back information, give back training, teaching, or even doing a charity job is important, um, you know, and that will allow for material, uh, you know, the energies uh, equalize then. So while, while you're taking from the universe, you're giving back. So everything is uh, in balance and that allows for growth. And you've got the last card, the two of summer, which says love, but you're falling in love or experiencing a deepening emotion in your current relationship marriages or romantic partnerships in distress can still be saved don't give up so you've got the two of summer here uh, and that's showing that you know there's a good uh soul kind soul connection coming in with you so somebody there to help you out uh somebody that you form that close bond with uh that soul connection with uh this could be a um a new romance or um a romance coming um an old romance um you know, getting the, a little bit of a wake-up call, if you like. So, uh, you know, very loyal, these birds made for life. So this is somebody that you've known for a long time or will know for a long time. So that kind of relationship coming in. So try to keep um, out of, um, you know, any kind of disputes. It seems like, you know, you are going to be walking away from things that are no longer serving you, things that are deceptive. Something has uh, led to disappointment over here, but there is a loyal friend over there to get, help you get through it. And be aware that the Tower card has shown its face in this spread. So some big revelation coming in that might affect uh, relationships around you. But focus on your work uh, and keep your head down and do that. And that is where, you know, you w will avoid any kind of pitfalls, any kind of later problems that might arise later. Also, there is the judgment card, so a decision needing to be made pretty quickly, um, you know, and endings of cycles. So, you know, maybe things that are not serving you, like this relationships that you think are good, are not serving you, might need to come to an end uh, in order for you to move forward in life. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.